Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to caulk the outside of a bathtub. In this video tutorial, I will be going over the basic steps for caulking the outside of a bathtub. Now you see many people overlook this step when they are creating a washroom because it's something extra that should be done but doesn't need to be done. But if you don't do it, what happens is water splashes outside of the bathtub, gets in that little crevice right there, discolors the grout as you can see, and eventually starts to cause some water damage and some creaking in the floor. So it is a good idea to waterproof the outside of your bathtub by just getting a little bead of caulking along it. Now let's get right into the video. When you are doing this, you wanna make sure that you're doing a really neat job simply because it's something that everyone's gonna see. You know, people see the caulking on the inside of your bathtub, but they definitely see the caulking on the outside of the bathtub as soon as they walk into the washroom, even if they're not using the bath, even if they're just using anything else in the washroom, if they're washing their hands, they're still gonna see this. So I recommend getting some masking tape and taping off a nice thin line for the caulking to run along. So just as you see me doing right here, I'm literally going to use this tape. We're gonna just tape one line on the floor and then one line against the bathtub. And that's gonna give us a nice clean and crisp look, just like this. So as you can see, and you wanna get a thin line. You don't really want a super thick bead of caulking, you want a thin bead of caulking. So I'm gonna try that again, I'm gonna go even thinner. That was a little bit too far away from the bathtub. You wanna go really, really close to the actual bathtub. And that's gonna allow you to get the nice thin line that you want. Um, it's going to allow it to look super neat and super tidy and it's just going to give the bathroom a nice finished look and I'll tell you why. Whenever I go to someone's bathroom, uh, the, one of the first things I notice is whether or not they caulk the outside of the bathtub and it's not by choice, I'm not looking for it. That's just what catches my eye because if they didn't do it, it just looks not the greatest and I'm sorry to my friends and family members. Um, if I've used your bathroom and you didn't caulk the outside of your bathtub, I'm sorry to inform you, but I've noticed. So with that being said, it's something that literally takes like, like five minutes. If I wasn't filming this at the same time, it would only take a few minutes. Um, and it just makes it look so much better. It's unbelievable how much better it makes it look. So I mean, why not do it? If it's so quick and so easy, you should just do it. What's, you know, what's, what's the point of not doing it? As you can see right here, um, with this right here, went a little bit thicker than I wanted to, but it's okay, it's still gonna look good. Also, make sure that you tape up the ends over here. So on either end, make sure that you add some tape to the end, just like I'm doing right over here. Hopefully you can see that right there, um, just because you don't wanna go over onto the wall. All right, now that you've done that, and also I should tell you, make sure that this is all nice and relatively clean and dry. If it's clean and dry, it's gonna be nice and, and it's gonna have a nice finished look and the caulking will adhere really easily. Next, you wanna take um, your tube of caulking. Now you can get it in this style right here, which is with a caulking gun, or you can get the little squeeze tube that you can use. Either one's fine. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on a nice thin bead of caulking along there. Now I had to cut this nozzle to be pretty wide simply because um, I sealed it before and I had to recut it to use it again. So what you want is a nice solid movement, right? You can see a, you're going at a uniform speed. You want to always keep the caulking gun moving, okay? Always keep that tube of caulking moving. If you miss a spot, you can always go back and add more. You can't, however, subtract or take away any material. So don't go overboard. Always keep it moving, and you want to end in the middle. So I'm going all the way over here, as you can see, and I'm going to end in the middle. Okay, so we are almost finishing up right here. All right, I apologize if I'm speaking at a very low volume, uh, but my kids are sleeping, their bedrooms are close by, and I don't want to wake them up. All right, so without further ado, let me just make sure I didn't get any caulking anywhere. Nope, we're all good, okay. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just wet my finger using either a cup of water or a wet paper towel, just like this. You wanna wet your finger, okay? And then just run your finger along that bead of caulking. 
You don't want to apply too much pressure, just a little bit of pressure. If you get a little air bubble, there's one right here, just go back over it and it'll smooth it right out, okay? When you feel like your fingers start to get dry, I have a dry paper towel over here. Just wipe the caulking off of your finger. Wet your finger again. Keep going. It's really something that every homeowner can do, that anybody can do. I mean, it's so simple and easy. It's unbelievable how easy it is. So I would recommend that everyone does this. It's literally a, an unbelievably inexpensive way and an unbelievably easy way to completely improve the look of your bathroom. Completely, completely, completely. And what I'm gonna do now, oops, it's all good, it's all good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over it one more time because some of the spots reached the, the, the taping, the masking tape, and other spots didn't reach it. So I'm gonna go over it one more time to make sure that I'm getting a nice uniform line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can get it to look a little bit better by just going over it one more time with your finger, then why not? Just like that. So right now, as you can see, it's smooth, it's uniform. I'm gonna just hit up this corner right here. Just gonna add a little bit right there. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a little bit of excess material in that corner, because I didn't get enough in there. And that's it. Now what we're gonna do next, the final part of the, oops, the final part of this process is we're going to remove the tape and we should get a nice, beautiful looking bead of caulking. Now, remove the tape when the caulking is still wet because you don't want it to peel anything off. Um, and try to remove it in a nice smooth motion. Oh, look at that. It looks great. It looks absolutely fantastic. It looks beautiful. I am very impressed with how it turned out. Um, make sure, you know, your hands are going to get dirty from the material once you're removing the tape. That's almost a guarantee. I've almost never done it where my hands haven't got dirty. Um, simply because, you know, the caulking, the excess caulking is going to be on the tape um, and it's going to get on your hands. So just make sure you have a towel nearby just to clean up any excess. And that's it, last little piece of tape. So we're going to pull it off right over here. And, oh, it looks great. Now, one last tip, one final tip, okay? If you get a spot like this one right here, I don't know if you can see this, there's just a little bit of caulking that was sort of excess. It's sort of sticking out. Just get your finger, once again, make sure your finger is nice and wet. That's how you smooth out the caulking and just clean it up. Just like that, done. If you happen to get any caulking on the bathtub or the floor where you don't want it, like right over here, wipe it off with a wet paper towel. Just like that, that's all you gotta do. Look at how much better it looks, okay? Something that was like unbelievably inexpensive and unbelievably easy to do, completely cleaned up the entire line over here. It looks fantastic. It looks way better than it did before. It took me almost no time at all. It's just something anyone can do, okay? And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.